and welcome to a small series of videos explaining how to produce 3D printed models. We're using some examples from the Newman miniature range available on Shapeways. This first one, just being taken out of its bag, is an Engage Planet class steam locomotive from the 1830s. As you can see, the locomotive itself is a one piece item designed with as little scratch building needed as possible and as such reasonably simple to manufacture. Now you'll see pointing out some of the areas where it needs to be cleaned that's one of the first tasks before we get onto painting and ultimately producing a fully running model. Of course the locomotive is all very good by itself but it needs a tender and here we have the relevant cast. Now you can see the axle boxes on this are not yet fitted, those have to be scratch built and of course so are couplings. You can equally see in the bottom the empty space where lead needs to be added for weight. The locomotive similarly has space for that but we will cover that in a later video. Now just pointing out some of the details. Now here you can see the completed engine overall. Accompanying this, because it is an unpowered locomotive, I have an example here of a powered truck uh, to give the illusion of a fully operating train. Now, while the others are one-piece castings, this is actually a three-part casting, again, designed on similar lines. So we have the main body designed to slot straight onto a chassis. Couplings, of course, had to be added as with weight. And we have two lids. The model is of a flatbed with two crates and one lid covers the top of the motor, the other one covers the top of the weight. And I'm just showing, as you can see, a very simple and you can see where the chassis just push fits in. If I put those on top, you get an idea of the finished item. Now of course, as with the locomotive, there's quite a few tasks to go through, but none of them are particularly difficult, cleaning, painting, and the majority are designed to be as simple as possible. Now, here we have the completed model which we're going to be working on, and I look forward to seeing you next time. See you then.